All right, hello and welcome back to TCG Live. And today I want to try my luck again with Bloomboro. I will open both a collector booster box and a play booster box. And we will see how much the price changed, how the value of the singles changed. It's a fantastic set, everybody loves it, but the single value seems to be quite low. Let's see, it's Monday after pre-release weekend and I think I will start with the collector booster box because that's what you guys want to see, right? Um, yeah, uh, this collector booster box goes for $240. And this play booster box goes for $145 currently. I actually bought it cheaper, 127 euros and 100, 207 euros for this one um, on Games Island. But yeah, the prices went a little bit up, a little bit the cost. Let's see if the singles are uh, worth that much in here. Which of these two products is gonna be worth your money more? Mm, I guess it's, it's more about which of these products is gonna lose you less money. Uh, in total, so I will scan each random mythic and we will start right here with Salvation Swan. It's the woodland framework. I don't think I pulled this one before. Let's see how much this one is worth. I have my scanner here in foil a dollar ninety five. The scanner is called Mana Box and all the prices are based on card market. Camellia the Seed Miser in woodland framework. Two bucks for this one. I checked the scanner, the scanner should be quite accurate now, but either way, um, after the video is done, after I record this, I will still check every card manually on card market and tell you guys in the summary the exact value, so stick around to the end, trend doesn't even show there. Wick, the Warlord, uh, Warlord Mind, I don't know how to pronounce that one, foil, two cents, alright, so not much, the rest is common and uncommons, which I'm not gonna scan because I don't think, like there was one uncommon that was worth something in foil, but that one's already below dollar as well, so... Not worth scanning comments and uncommons, they are all below a dollar. Whoa, we got Baleful Strix, and this is an Imagine Critter, so a reprint of Baleful Strix in this Bloomboro version. I wonder why they chose already animals to turn into different to the same animal, but with different artwork. Ten bucks for Baleful Strix. Cool. And we've got Narset, part of Veils. And just when I said it, this is also an Imagine Critter, so I guess Narset is a human? I don't even know. I guess so. And this time they turned him into a bird for nine dollars. Got a nice simple planeswalker as a bird. Mabel Air to Crack Flame. Awesome card. Two bucks seventy-nine and Polyvoc Prodigy. Oh, $8.72. This is extended art, so it might be a little bit more, but I guess if I put it extended, yeah, the price is gonna disappear. Uh, so there are no prices yet for extended, or at least the scanner didn't really update mm, its database. Uh, Thunder Trap Trainer, $1.58. Got a beautiful mountain there, and some uncomments and comments. In nice foiling. I feel like the foiling on in the Play Booster packs. It's a little bit better than in these collector boosters, the method of foiling at least. We got another mythic here, Kitsa Otterball Elite. Look at this. All right, the foiling here looks pretty cool. I like it. Legendary creature, Otter Wizard. It's the first time I pulled this card. I'm not sure how much this one's worth. In foil, $29. Whoop, whoop. So that's worth something, I guess. The infamous Crew Claw. Another mythic. So that's a nice pack here that we got. Eleven dollars, damn! I wonder if they're actually that much. Again, you will see in the summary. Two cents for this one, and we got Domri Anak of Bolas, another Imagine Critter. You can tell here. So it's another reprint turned into an animal. It seems like in collector boosters, especially, you get a lot of these Imagine Critters. So that doesn't have a price. I will mention it in the description, in the summary, if it's worth something. Five cents for this one, and the nice planes, and nothing else. All right, so we got it's seventy-seven dollars already, and I forgot to mention that I'm gonna do a giveaway uh, with these coins. So you see the coins accumulate. Oh, we got Nissa, <laughs> shakes the world. This is really cool. Nissa is a frog. I wonder if this is the expensive Nissa from after math. 
$1.23 for this frog. Um, I'll be doing a giveaway. I'm gonna tell you in a second. $5 for Nissa. Salvation Swan again, non foil. $1.24. And the Odd Acre Gang. This is a commander card, I see, but in foil. That's weird. I guess you can get them in foil. Yeah, this one. Hmm. All right, the non-extended art is 250, so I guess it should be similar. Storm Splitter in foil, that's nice. Let's see how much this one is still worth. $8.24, awesome. And a winter land. So yeah, claim these coins by leaving me a comment. And uh, if you have enough coins, you can participate in the giveaway. I'm gonna give away one of these collector booster boxes this Thursday, 1st August, and another one the Thursday afterwards, the week afterwards. Both of these sponsored by Games Island, sponsor of this channel. I uh, really appreciate Games Island sending me free swag that I can give away to you guys. If you want to participate in the giveaway, make sure uh, to claim as much coins as you can until then. And um, by leaving comments under my videos, you have time until the next video is uploaded. Sunspine links in the... How is it called? Notebook? I forgot. Field notes. Field notes treatment. It's kind of like a drawing in a field notes notebook. Cool, Sunspine links. Whoa, this looks beautiful, damn. 10 bucks for the links. And let's see how much lim uh, Luminous Brute Moth is worth. Another Imagine Critter. This is beautiful artwork on this one. 10 bucks for this one. Look at this, it's fantastic. It's 10 times bigger than a bed. Awesome. Phineas Ace Archer. So yeah, um, make sure to claim coins as much as you can and um, check the link in the description to my Google form. If you want to participate in the giveaway, you have to opt in there. And if you have 100 coins, you participate in this giveaway. If you don't have 100 coins for this giveaway, don't worry, you keep your coins forever. So. Um, when you accumulate 100 coins, you gonna you can start participating in giveaways and the more coins you have, the higher the chance of winning in one of these giveaways. So make sure to claim as many coins as possible. Teferi! We got Teferi Time Reveler. As a bird. Imagine critters. That's pretty cool. $21 for this one. Cruel Claws Heist. Woodland Framework. $2. Fabled Passage. $4.65 and Swarm Yard Massacre. Man, I'm getting pretty nice value here. I wonder if this actually holds up to the summary. Salvation Swarm. 67 cents. All right. This was the only uncommon that was worth above a dollar in foil. Now it's already below. Um, yeah, check the link in the description to opt into my giveaway. Claim as many coins as you can. And check the link to Games Island. There's an affiliate link in the description. If you click that link, Game Silent knows that you come from me and that would really help me out. So if you do click the link and check out Game Silent, it would really appreciate it. Um, helps me with bigger giveaways in the future, maybe. And $8.56. And yeah, if you consider buying some Magic Pokemon or Yu-Gi-Oh, consider buying it on Game Silent because it's really the cheapest that I know at least. We got $23 for Maha, it's, feather, it's Feather's Night in this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful uh, field notes treatment. Man, the artwork's really cool on this one. Uh, Mockingbird in Woodland Showcase. No, it doesn't have a price, that's weird. Sword of the Squeak. 18 cents. And Valley Might Caller in foil. Worth nothing. All right, so we're halfway through, right? Or are we already packed into... All right, we already packed into the second half. And we had $180, so that looks pretty nice. Let's see if we can get 240. I actually wanted to open the pre-cons today, the Commander pre-cons. But... Castro the wind script, but I don't really have time. The, the commander precons will take too too long, 
and I want this video to be out tomorrow. Birds of Paradise. Imagine Critter again. $10 for Birds of Paradise. Always delivering in the value department. It's already the second time I pulled this one. Comes Troll again. All right. Also probably not gonna have a price, right? Wait, that's 54 cents. Scurry of Squirrels. Cute little squirrel from the Commander deck. Two bucks, 87. Fountain Port. The foil. $4.33. All right. We got Hired Claw. Whoa, 3-3 three, three City again. Two bucks, 48. 3-3 three, three City, I think the most valuable card from the set, if I'm not wrong. And this is the winter version, so I think winter, even for this one, is the most rare season. You get you can get this legendary land in all four seasons. I think in my last collector booster box I pulled an autumn one. So now we got winter here. That's nice. Probably the most valuable one from all forty dollars. There we go. Can I actually select which season? Oh I can. Forty dollars yeah I guess they are all the same. Value here. Tender wild guide. A dollar. The odd acorn gang. No money. Uh, Azure beast binder. 13 cents. All right. So we are already at $242. And that actually makes me think that the scanner might still not be accurate. Even though I checked. I don't know. There's, I guess, some. Whoa! <laughs> Another 3 3 city in foil. Damn. What is the season? Spring or summer? Something like that. In four this time. So you can get this in four seasons. You can see here. Whoa, that was really lucky. That's some nice value. $55 for the foil one. Dragon Hawk Fates Tempest. Really cool Calamity Beast, I think. It's a it's a, I think it's a dragon that dropped into Bloomboro and got turned into a bird. Something like that in the story. $14.86. We got Iridescent Vine Slasher. Cool card that I used in my pre release event. Four bucks for this one. Rootcast Apprenticeship. $1.35. And Paw Patch Recruit. A uh, few cents. Alright, nothing else. Man, I want I want an anime card. Or raised foil cards, something. Still didn't pull one of these chase cards. What we got here? We got Hux, Grizzly, Guardian in the foil. Still not anime. Uh, foil, $9.17. And the Fairy Time Reveler again. $14 for this one. Valley Might Caller. Cool artwork. These frogs and squirrels and <laughs> rabbits and raccoons or whatever there is in the background a dollar 35 jacked rabbit two bucks and belly balen 84 cents for the full version all right nothing else here last pack come on anime you can get anime uh, artwork you can get raised foil or maybe it's the same if you Pull an anime, it's always raised foil. Actually, I'm not sure. Never pulled one. I want at least one. Come on. Valley Quest Caller. It's not anime or raised foil, unfortunately. Two bucks, 78. Whisker Veil Forerunner. 35 cents. Valley Quest Caller. Dollar. And bright crab badger. Two dollars, mockingbird. And that's it. Three bucks fifty-seven. Alright, so the value seems to be insane again. But uh, we will know for sure after I checked every card separately on card market. I always filter on card market, I always filter for German sellers, English card, near mint quality. And then the lowest price from there. That's what I would sell them for. 
Actually, not gonna sell these. I'm gonna send them back to Games Island because um, they're gonna sell them themselves. But yeah, I'm curious. I'm curious if this is actually accurate or not. So stick around to the end of the video. But we will see first if the play booster box can keep up. If this play booster box ends up below a hundred dollars, then I'm actually excited that this might be accurate here. All right, let's get all the pegs out here. I want to have them all in front of me. Let's go. Beautiful stuff here. So many booster packs, man. My childhood me would be so excited to have so many booster packs to crack. Living a dream, guys. All right, paw patch recruit again. Oh, one sec. I want to move all the cards here to a collection. Create. There we go. Now we have a clean slate. Paw patch recruit. Let's start scanning. We got two rares already. That's nice. 46 cents. Uh, Warren Wallida, a mythic actually. Four dollars. All right, all right. Foil and an art card. All right, I'll do the. I'll try to do it a little bit faster here. We got Osteomancer Adept and nothing else. You can see here the foiling is way more um, pronounced. Like they foil separate stuff while in the collector foilings, it's just basically foil on the whole card, kind of. Not really, yeah, not that pronounced. Eight cents for this one. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Skip all the uncommons. We got fountain port and nothing else. If I know a card is worth nothing, I might just skip it. Two dollars forty-six for this one though. All right. So this is. I didn't scan. I didn't change any scanner settings. This is a fair battle here. Valley quest caller. Two cents and dark star auger in foil three dollars actually the foil one <laughs> on the scanner kind of was cheaper than the non-foil one Whatever. we got muera trash tactician and oh i thought there has a showcase there 15 cents these play boosters really are low on booster fun treatments i noticed um it's different than other sets. Hardborn Battler. I think uh, Outdoors of Thunder Junction and uh, Carl of Mana had at least one booster fun card in each pack. But you can also get, of course, you got usually uncommons. This time, there's no uncommon booster fun. I think if you have booster fun, it's always rare. So, Darkstar Augur here in the wood, uh, woodland framework. $6. Awesome. All right, let's go. We got Balin here. I think this was worth nothing, right? 21 cents. Yep. Next time I know. Azure Beast Binder and nothing else. But the foiling is so much better. I like it when they foil um, the artwork so different, like separately. All right. Valley Flame Caller and signature artwork there. Dollar. Cool sig signed art card. How much are we in? Sixteen dollars, all right. Third almost through. So it seems actually like the last play booster that I opened. So you might got really lucky with the collector booster box there. But yeah, we got of course twice three three city. Castrol, the wind scrapped. Two cents, sunspine links. Dollar two. And nothing else. Oh, cool. Cool art card on this one as well. Got 
got Thorn Vault Forager. Two bucks, 88, and nothing else. Oh, we got Helga, so this one is not cheap, at least. That's a few bucks, probably. Two bucks, 25. Still dropped quite a bit, I think. Manifold mouse and the winter mountain. That's nice. 38 cents. Yeah, not much value in these rares. $23 and we are almost halfway through. That's quite weak. Austriomancer Adept. Eight cents. I already pulled this one. Whoa, look at this. This is the Elspeth. Um, Imagine Critter. Elspeth Stunt Champion. Awesome artwork. I like this one. Let's scan Alania though. Five cents for the foil one. Clement and nothing else. Seems like there's also a lower rate of rares in these play boosters in this set. I might have to do a little bit statistic. Statistics there. Fountain port that was worth something. Two bucks fifty almost. All right, halfway through the box, we got thirty six packs. We're probably already into pack 18, 19. It's 75 cents. And we are even below 30 bucks, man. This value. Uh, Gef Scaled Scorch. 70 cents. Uh, portent of Calamity, 54 cents, whoa, 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 what do we got there? For the com uh, common good and swords to plowshare as a special guest, so you can get special guests in this one. That's cool, why did they put swords to plowshare as a special guest? 70 cents. That's the second special guest that I got. I think the last one was in the collector booster box. So you can get special guests from play boosters. That's nice. Uh, special guests are always reprints of all the cards, but with different cool, very beautiful artwork, usually. And this is no exception. I think this looks pretty cool. So it's the plowshare. $9.44. Big staple in uh, Commander decks, so... In this beautiful version, definitely. I would say worth that 10 bucks. All right. Got wishing well. I think that was worth nothing. Igra, Ita of all. $7.92. All right. Mabel. Anything else? Two cents. Let's go. Clement again. I don't remember what it was. Oh, it was worth nothing. We already have a Clement there. So I can skip scanning that one. Oops, sorry. Uh, Ember Heart Challenger and nothing else. Two bucks fifty-seven. What do I got here? Another wishing well. Wishing well was worth nothing, right? Let me double check here. Yeah, okay. Just making sure. We got Valley Might Caller and Valley Rod Caller. Two cents. Valley rod color. I guess there's a valley color for each color. Dollar forty-four for this woodland showcase. Beautiful head of the homestead pointing here. And a signed art card for season of loss. 
Yeah, there we go. Oops, the book is already dropping here. All right, last few packs. Let's go. Still hundred dollars to go. Oh, season of weaving. All right, it's gonna get us a little bit closer. Four dollars eighty-three. These season cards are really cool. I like the artwork on them. I like the mechanic. Uh, Gaff scale scorch. Dollar thirty-four and nothing else. Right. Valley flood caller, and look at this foiling on this winter island. Very cool as well. Dollar twenty. Hardborn Battler. Two cents. Goes here. All right, all right, all right. Looks pretty bad for the play booster box here. And very good for the collector booster box because it seems like the scanner is accurate, which would mean an insane value. All right, few packs left. No, the bulk is already. Drop in here. Three three city again. All right, and storm splitter. That was a great pack. Is this pack gonna save the box? Not quite, but still twenty dollars. It's getting there. It's getting there. Six dollars ninety four. Three packs left. We already had hundred bucks almost. If we can hit a hundred bucks, it would be it wouldn't be too bad. Coiling rebirth, thirty three cents. A scrap shooter, nothing else. Four nine cents, and the last pack. This is this gonna be eighteen dollars in here or not? Likely, but maybe we're this in wine slasher if there's another rare here. Nope, unfortunately not. Four dollars twenty-six. Alright, that was the play booster box. And this play booster box is very similar to the actual price from the my last play booster box. So the scanner seems at least accurate for now, which would mean great things for this group. Collect the booster box, but I will see now. I will check every card on card market now. I will compile it in my Google Sheet. And I'm gonna be back for you guys in a second with my summary. All right, let's go. All right, so I put up every card in my Google Sheet. You can find that sheet down below. And as you can see here, the scan seems to be quite accurate. 67 euros, which is around $72. It's quite close to what the scanner said. Uh, the scanner said eighty-six dollars. So close enough. Uh, I I like that. I like that. It's a little bit frustrating if the scanner is so much stuff. But this time it was quite accurate. I like that. Three three city, the most valuable card from this box. Nineteen euros. Sorts to plowshare. Seven euros eighty. Uh, Ninety-nine. And Igra eat of all seven euros eighty are the three most valuable cards from this box. But yeah. 67 euros, that's quite low. I paid 107 euros for the box, so that's uh, 40 dollars loss. It's actually worse than Murders at Call of Man, I think. <laughs> I don't know what, what's up with this set. The price has dropped quite a bit for normal cards. However, for fancy cards, you can see here 317 euros. And I think I only have to thank these two cards here. They are almost 100 euro by themselves. 33 City. For this foil version, it currently goes for 56 euros on card market. That's insane. Uh, I don't know if it would actually sell at that point or if it would drop. If I would have, if I would sell it myself, uh, myself, I will, I will send these cards to Games Line and they can sell them. Uh, second, three three city, of course, 38 euros, and we have even Kitsa here, which is quite valuable. I was surprised, 28 euros 90. Uh, so that's pretty cool. And yeah, you can just check this uh, list in the description below if you want to go through each card that I pulled there. Uh, pretty nice, pretty nice. 370 euros, that's insane. 
I hope Game Science is happy about that because <laughs> I'll send these cards to them. And yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm not gonna uh, do it too long. It's quite late already. I want the video to be out tomorrow. So I want to say a big thank you to my high IT of Patreons for which we got a little bit of um, uh, new faces here. Alec Von Drasek. And thank you very much for supporting me. Sebastian, Chris Renault, Bert Houses, George Completo, Galaxy, and Scuzzi, of course. Old school. And another newcomer, The Devil's Advocate. Thank you very much for supporting me on Patreon. Really appreciate it. Guys, check the link in the description to Games Island. Um, the affiliate link and claim the coins for the giveaway. The giveaway is going to be a Thursday soon. So claim as many coins as you can until then. Uh, through, you can opt into the giveaway, of course, in my description as well. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I wanted to do commander decks today, but I really didn't have enough time. It's already so late. I hope I can finish the commander deck video tomorrow. And then I have every product open already uh, with the pool. So yeah, see you next time. Peace out, guys.